kind one. Yeah, very good. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks for the fresh and clean and <laughs> Good morning. My name is Rosalyn, and we welcome all of you to St. Alphonsus Liguori Parish to celebrate the 33rd Sunday of Ordinary Time. How are we using what has been entrusted to us? Today, Jesus tells the parable of the talents. Two of the servants use them to make more. The third buries his in the ground. Are we using our talents as well as we could? As we celebrate the Eucharist today, let us consider how we are using our God-given talents and how we could be using them to bring greater glory of God and help to our neighbor. Our celebrant for this Mass is Father Joseph Lay, our pastor. We respectfully ask that you place your cell phones on silence during this liturgy and that you keep your mask on for your entire stay in the building. Thank you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the grace and peace of the Lord be with you all. The friends, today is in parables of talents. Jesus encouraged us to use our gift for the good of others. For the time we have not done this, let us ask for mercy and forgiveness. Lord Jesus, you show us a way to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you reveal the kingdom in parables. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you call us to serve you with joy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. 
Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, have a leaking. Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Grant us, we pray, O Lord our God, the constant gladness of being devoted to you, for it is full and lasting happiness to serve with constancy the author of all that is good. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the book of Proverbs. When one finds a worthy wife, her value is far beyond pearls. Her husband, entrusting his heart to her, has an unfailing prize. She brings him good, not evil, all the days of her life. She obtains wool and flax and works with loving hands. She puts her hands to the distaff, and her fingers ply the spindle. She reaches out her hands to the poor and extends her arms to the needy. Charm is deceptive and beauty fleeting. The woman who fears the Lord is to be praised. Give her a reward for her labors and let her works praise her at the city gates. Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Blessed are those who Oh. 
reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Thessalonians. Concerning times and seasons, brothers and sisters, you have no need for anything to be written to you, for you yourselves know very well that the day of the Lord will come like a thief in the night. When people are saying, peace and security, then sudden disaster comes upon them, like labor pains upon a pregnant woman, and they will not escape. But you, brothers and sisters, are not like, are not in darkness, for that day to overtake you like a thief. For all of you are children of the light and children of the day. We are not of the night or of darkness. Therefore, let us not sleep as the rest do, but let us stay alert and sober. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. be with you. Reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus told his disciples this parable. A man going on a journey, called in his servants and entrusted his possessions to them. To one he gave five talents, to another two, to a third one to each according to his ability. Then he went away. Immediately the one who received five talents went and traded with them and made another five. Likewise, the one who received two made another two. But the one who received one went off and dug a hole in the crowd and buried his master's money. After a long time, the masters of those servants came back and set an account with them. To one who had received five talents came forward, bringing the additional five. He said, Master, you gave me five talents. See, I have made five more. His master said to him, Well done, my good and faithful servant. Since you were faithful in small matters, I will give you great responsibilities. Come, share your master's joy. To the one who had received two talents also came forward and said, Master, you gave me two talents. See, I have made two more. His master said to him, Well done, my good and faithful servant. Since you were faithful in small matters, I will give you great responsibilities. Come, share your master's joy. Then the one who had received the one talent came forward and said, Master, I knew you were a demanding person, harvesting where you did not plant, and gathering where you did not scatter. So out of fear I went off and bury your talent in the crowd. Here it is back. His master said to him in reply, You wicked, lazy servant. So you knew that I harvest where I did not plant, and gather where I did not scatter. 
Should you not then have put my money in the bank so that I could have got it back with interest on my return? Now then, take the talent from him and give it to the one with ten. For to everyone who has, more will be given and will grow rich. But from the one who has not, even what he has will be taken away and throw his and throw this useless servant into the darkness outside where there will be wailing and grinding of this the gospel of the lord so friends we move to the very end of this liturgical year cycle a so every year when during this time uh, the gospel readings use a, a lot of parables jesus used a lot of parables to talk to us about the end times the end of times the end of the world or the end of our life last week we heard the story of the ten virgins and only five of them were ready for welcoming the uh, bridegroom who walk who who delays in coming and this week we just heard about the parable of the talents with three individual and each of them reacts or use those talent in different ways and then next week the feast of Christ the King at the end of our liturgical year Jesus will tell us about the separation between the sheep and the goats at the end of time. The emphasis in all the three parables is not so much about the timing of the end of the world. Rather, these parables teach us to live in a responsible and faithful manner because there is an accounting each of us will have to give personally to the Lord at the end of our time. And today, Jesus challenged us. Yes, we are the children of God. And God is our beloved Father who gives us all kinds of gifts and talents in our life. And what should we do with them? That for example, yeah, I guess God doesn't give us the same talents, the same amounts, but God give all of us difference in different ways. God created uh, each one of us in a unique way with a unique gift. And what should we do with them? The example, each of us were entrusted 100 acres of land. From the Lord what should we do with them 100 acre of land so I can divide this uh, you know, our people here into four different groups the first group of people is the one who received who had 10 a uh, 100 acre of land but they don't know they don't know that they have it in our life God never appear to us and give it okay pam and mike this is 100 acre of land take it and do something with it none of us see the the law coming to us and tell us and give us that way but the law give us this 100 acre of land all the gifts and talents but for us we have to figure out, try to find out those gifts in our life. Some of us find out in very early age. Some take a long time. Some need someone help, help us to figure out. So the first group of people is some, there's a people that they don't know that they have 100 acres of land. They thought they have five or ten, and they just 
try to work on the little land that they have to, to survive. And they complain about why God gave them too little. But actually, God gave them 100 acres of land. Recently, I tried to teach some uh, adult uh, Vietnamese immigrant English because I realized that they need to know English to live well in this country. So at the first section of my class, one of the uh, ladies said to me, Father, I don't think I can learn English because when I was uh, in school, I'm very slow in learning. And that's why two years already living here, I have very little. Just say yes or no or good morning, that's it. But I say to her, you can do it. You can do it. Let's try. Let's try with me. And after the first section, uh, first class, I realized that she can learn it. And she will learn really well if she put the effort in that. She has a very good ear, so she can recognize the English sound is different from Vietnamese sound. And she can pronounce the words in English clearly than the other two. So I say to her, you can do it. You can do it. It's the same way in, in we live our life. And many times we try to tell our little children, you can do that. If you try, if you put an effort in that, if you invest your time in that. That's our, the, 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 the job as parents and teachers to help our children to recognize the gift that, they, that the Lord gives us. Help them to recognize that they have 100 acres of land that God gives them. And many times in my homily, especially for the, the kids at our school, and I say to them, no, God gave you so much. God gave you good families, your parents who love and care for you, work hard and sacrifice everything for you so you, have, you can have the good education, you have good clothes to wear, you have good house, and, and everything. Recognize those gifts. Don't take things for granted or reject those gifts. So we do that for our children. But we, if we look at ourselves, sometimes we have that, that, that mistake too. We don't know all the gifts that God gives to us, all the talents. Sometimes it's right inside us, next to us. The gift of our family, of our spouse, our children, our parents to give our community in, in our freedom, our human rights that we fully enjoy in this country. And the second group of people is, they, they know they have 100 acres of land, but they are too lazy. They just work on a few acres of land. That's why the, the one who received one, one talent today, he didn't do anything with that talent. He dig a hole and he bury it. In the same way, many people today do the same. Laziness, laziness. I don't want to move my hand. I don't want to think. I don't want to make an effort. I just want to have the easy life. Right? So they waste the talents that God gives to them. That is the reason that Jesus, the master, you the strong word again, those lazy talents. So he wastes 100 acres of land that God gives them. The third group of people is, are those who know that they have 100 acres of land. They take it, they invest everything, they work hard on those land, will produce a lot of fruits and, and, and things for them. But they end up re reject the Lord. They just use those talents and gifts to serve for themselves. 
have nothing to do with God and nothing to do with the fellow people around them. They have nothing to do with the poor. All the talents, the, the fruit of his, his talent is just to serve himself or herself. And we see that in our society. People live selfishly with all the resources, the talents that they have. They reject the ownership of God. And they see that they are not the steward. They're the owner of everything that, that the Lord entrusted to them. And then the last one is the one who humbly and joyfully recognize all the gifts and talents is from the Lord. They work hard on these talents, embrace them, culture, uh, nurture, and cultivate all the, the land that God gives them. So the land bear fruit. And he used, they use those fruit to, to serve the Lord, to offer back to God, to, and bring those gifts to serve their families and the, the people around them. Sometimes, uh, it's very often that in our society, we recognize and we put those who have, the, 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 have talent like the celebrity, the singer, actor, and actress, and athletes, we put them in a very high place. Right? But sometimes, we forget the people around us. Simple, humble people. Yes, they have, they have their own gift from the Lord. And they humbly use those gifts to, to uh, nurture the love of God for themselves and for their family and others. That's why in the first reading today in the book of Proverbs, the Bible prays, not the celebrity, the one with you know, all the social media praise in, in, in glory. But the Bible praised a humble and simple wife because this simple woman received the gift of the Lord, the gift of the call, the vocation of a wife, of a mother, and she raised her family. She knew how to raise her family. She became a faithful and beloved wife. She caring parents. She's a woman of faith. The woman fear, of fear the Lord. And she bring up her family and make her family a happy home for herself, her, her spouse, and her children. Sometimes we forget about those gifts like that, the gift that God can help us to become a faithful and good spouse and, and parents. So today, Jesus challenged us to call us to recognize all the gift that God gave to us. Some give it very, very simple, but very important like the gift of the woman in the Bible today. Jesus encouraged us to recognize them, embrace them, and make an effort to work on this gift, on these talents, make it more, multiply more and bear fruit so we can serve the Lord, we serve the people of God, and serve our family. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, unbegotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, be God not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made. For us men of our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit, we encountered the Virgin Mary and became men. 
for our sake, he was crucified, not crucified. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day, in accord with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds for the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is to do and glorify who has spoken to the prophets. I believe in one holy cat and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead, the life of the world to come. We're confident in God's goodness. Let us turn to the Lord in prayer. For our church, may we recognize and welcome the talents of all the faithful in building up the body of Christ. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For our leaders and the leaders of all nations, may they always keep the poor in mind when making economic decisions. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For unemployed and underemployed adults, May they find work that matches their talents and provides a living wage. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. For all who teach the faith, parents, catechists, Bible study leaders, and pastors, that they may use the talents God has graced them with to nurture a living relationship with Jesus and those with whom they work. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. For foster parents and other caregivers, for those who minister in homeless shelters and soup kitchens, for those who care for refugees and foreigners, all of whom use their talents to help others, may they be blessed in their ministries. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For all gathered here, that we may be children of light, worthy of imitation in the way we care for our neighbors. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For those in our community who are unable to worship with us because of illness, especially Maria Kakucholo, Matt Ramalia, Denise Martin, Fawn Galbraith, Jesus D'Alfaro, Gay Meisen, Margaret Seward, and Gary Dirks. For those in need of our prayers and those mentioned in the book of petitions, we pray to the Lord. Lord for those who have died, for all the intentions we hold in the silence of our hearts, and for those who remember at this Mass the deceased of St. Alphonse's parish, we pray to the Lord. God of life and love, you call us to serve you joyfully with the gift and talents we have received from your hand. Hear our prayers that we might dedicate our lives to the path of discipleship. We ask this through Jesus Christ, our Lord.
Pray, my sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, your Almighty Father. Grand O Lord, we pray that what we offer in the sight of your majesty may obtain for us the grace of being devoted to you and gain us the price of everlasting happiness. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For when your children were scattered afar by sin, through the blood of your Son and the power of the Spirit, you gather them again to yourself, that the people form as one by the unity of the Trinity, made the body of Christ and the temple of the Holy Spirit, might to the praise of your manifold wisdom be manifest at the, ch at the church. And so in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you and with joy we proclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. May holy, therefore, this gift we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion. He took bread and gave him thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which to be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which we pour down for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, when we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim, we proclaim your, your death, death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection. We offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit, Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, place of bishop, and all those who serve your church. Remember also our sisters and brothers who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Apostle and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heir to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior command and form a divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, 
who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the face of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Peace of the Lord be with you all. Let us offer each other the sign of Christ's peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have, Have mercy. mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Bless ye, though called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter my roof, but only say the word of my church. to him and never be hungry. Eat this bread, drink this cup, trust in him and you will not thirst. Eat his flesh and drink his blood and Christ will to him and never be hungry. Eat this bread, drink this cup, trust
Let us pray. We have partaken of the gifts of this sacred mystery, humbly imploring, O Lord, that what your Son commanded us to do in memory of him may bring us growth in charity through Christ our Lord. We have a few announcements. Eucharistic adoration is now being live streamed. Please join us to spend time with the Lord every Tuesday from 6 to 7 p.m. in person or through the live stream access on the parish Facebook page. The 2020 Christmas Mass Survey will collect responses until noon on Monday, November 16th. The survey is available to fill out on paper in the narthex and digitally on our website. We really hope you will take a few minutes to do the survey. We appreciate your input. The time has come to plan for our annual giving tree. This year, rather than asking you to buy children's gifts, we will be asking you to make a monetary donation that will go towards the purchase of gift cards for each of the children of our food pantry families and for members of our sharing parish, St. John de La Salle. Information and gift envelopes are available on the table in the narthex. And Mary Petro has provided beautiful worship music for our parish for many years. Mary will be leaving us soon to serve a parish in another part of the country. We are so grateful and blessed by how she has so generously shared her talents with us. Please join us next weekend at the Saturday 5 p.m. Mass to bid Mary a fond farewell. Thank you. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The Mass ended. Let us go forth in love and serve the Lord. <laughs>